Good morning. It's Chris with City Girl Homestead. Jack's downstairs getting some canning jars. We are going to make some chocolate syrup to can today. So while he's down there looking for the jars, I'm going to measure out six cups of white sugar. Two. And six. And then we need three cups of cocoa. Now the reason I'm not doing it in the pan is I want to be able to mix it really, really well so that you don't get the chocolate clumps or anything. Because if you don't do it beforehand, it will be clumpy and I don't like clumpy. So we got half. And good thing I ordered more cocoa. <laughs> that about killed what I got left almost. So, in my pan over here, I happen to have three cups of water. And so, what I'm going to do with this, I'm just going to kind of blend it together so that it kind of takes any of the clumping out. So I'm going to get all this mixed together, and then when Jack gets back up here, we'll get started. I do have my oven um, getting ready to do 200 so that we can keep our um, jars nice and hot. And we will start up our water bather as well, So because it's going to be hot, hot, hot. All right, so I'll be back. All right, and we're back. Hi, Jack. Hi. <laughs> So I got it all whisked together. I'll show you right here. It's all whisked together. There'll be a few clumps still, but not anything like there'd be if you added it afterwards. So Jack's going to slowly add that to the water and then whisk with the other hand. Here, I'll add it. How's that? You want the water to start getting hot when you do this. Ready for more? Yeah. You can do this by yourself, but I'm trying to teach him how to make the um, syrup. Because we made you how many last year? Eight? Something like that. And they're all gone, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> Were they good? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I'm trying to teach him how he can make it himself. So, just one second, I'll pull you right above his bolt pan there. Hold on. All right, so that's what he's got. Makes you get around the sides. He'll start using a regular spoon as soon as he gets all of that mixed in there with the whisk. Now, what we're going to do is get this to its hot. <laughs> And I'm going to add just a pinch of salt. Now the only other thing we're going to need is um, vanilla, but I want to wait till that's boiling to do that. So Jack's going to get that all stirred together and get it up to a boil, and it's going to boil for 15 minutes. So this is going to be, he's going to have stirring arms today. So we'll come back when it's boiling. Alright, so now he's got it at a full boil. So now, we're going to add maybe two tablespoons of vanilla. She must have not teaspoons. I don't think that's that much in there. <laughs> And two. 
I'm going to put just a little bit more in there. There we go. Alright, so now that it's at a boil, he's going to keep stirring it for 15 minutes. So we're going to set our timer for 15 minutes. And then we'll be back. <laughs> Alright, we're back. <laughs> Jack was liking the thought of the chocolate. And then he went to go taste it, and it was uh, really hot. Not such a good idea then, was it, Jack? No. <laughs> Alrighty, so we're going to do three at a time here. And these are hot. They just came out of the oven. And we're going to take it up to the one-inch head space. Let's bring it right there. You did it now. See how nice and thick that's getting? Yeah. You're going to want your lifter. Oh, it's right here. Right up to the one inch head space. Right about there. And then, you're going to make sure that you wash your rings, your rims, I should say. And yes, this is very, very hot. The inside of it's hot. I heard that coughing, Jack. Jack just coughed. Yeah. And you're going to do this finger tight. How does that look? Amazing. All right, we'll do one more. I have to go and lift those things up. Well, you better put that back over here and lift the things up. Oh boy, he says. <laughs> Just use a spoon to do it, Jack. Jack forgot and left the one metal things down. Alright. That makes that metal thing even hot. <laughs> Why not, Jack? I'll burn my hand. <laughs> and we are using our four jars lids. And look down below and you'll see the um, link to be able to save another 10%. Everything that we canned yesterday did, in fact, have the four jar lids. We'll be back when we're done. All right, I had to abruptly finish it because... Uh, <laughs> My husband's work was calling, and they never do, so. Anyways, um, once you get all these jars filled, then you're going to put it in your water bather that's already boiling hot, and you're going to wait until it comes to a rolling boil, and you're going to can it for 15 minutes. So, it looks like we might get seven half pints. So, we'll be back now when it's finished. Sorry, guys. Alrighty, so there's the chocolate syrup. It just came out of the, the canner. And so far, three have popped already. So, let's bring you up closer. Look how beautiful that is. That's the syrup from yesterday. <laughs> That's going to be great to make hot chocolate. You can put it on your ice cream. You can put it on different desserts. It is just absolutely yummy, and it is shelf-stable this way. So it should last you a couple years in, the, in your pantry. So thanks for watching, and again, below you'll find the little thing to push on so that you can get 10% off if you do any of the um, four jars lids, which they are on sale right now, so take an opportunity to to take advantage of that. And you guys have a very blessed day.